pine cone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, the leaves and stuff. Having fun sitting at the pond? Mm-hmm. Seeing this full pond? Mm-hmm. Haven't been full in a while. Mm-hmm. Amazing to see how, yes. how big it can get after it's been so low. What's yeah. up, sons? Got the fish food? Good. Yeah, let's see it get out right here. Yeah, I can go over and throw it out. Don't fall in the pond. And then get, get a handful and then go out there and throw it. So you can get it out there further. Where the fish are. It's all right. You'll be all right. Go, just go down there right, right behind Solo. Behind Solo? Yep. Now throw it from right there. <laughs> now walk back up here so the next person can get some. So we definitely still have a lot of fish in here after the big freeze. Y'all do see boys, we got fish eating, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be nice if a big old catfish would come up right here where we can see it. Yeah. Now we can sit on that thing and stick our feet in the water. Mm -hmm. we'll have to come down yeah, we're that. telling y'all about our little uh, red oak limb here that's been here since we had the property. And we always come and sit on this limb over here and uh, kind of look over the pond. Let me take y'all over and show y'all with the view from that seat. Looks like. <laughs> Every now and then there'll be some ants in it. But uh you can see if we sit there, what we'll be looking at. It's like one of the best best spots on the property to sit at and just overlook things. Yeah, we're not gonna sit on there right now because it's probably ants ants in there. Wait, and that, that's gonna be our spot. We're gonna put a little little bench at. I build a little bench. And uh, sometimes the water gets up to where you can put your feet in the water from that uh that little seating spot. Yep, but everything in this in its own time and season.
thoughts? Y'all ready to work? Y'all ready to work? So IG Farms, all about God. It's a new day on the farm today, and it's a super exciting day. It's a, you know, gonna be a couple of exciting days because this video is probably gonna go from today until into tomorrow because we have a very, very exciting <laughs> delivery going on tomorrow. I know y'all saw maybe, I don't know if it was last video or a couple of videos ago when we went and bought the TVs and y'all saw that Megan <laughs> had her eyes on a couch that, uh, you know, that like reclined back. <clears throat> and uh, we were gonna do one couch or one, I think it's called a love seat. It's gonna be it's gonna be the same size as the uh, you know futon that we have because we know that, that that size you know fits well inside of Emma and doesn't take up too much space. But we started off taking taking some measurements, you know, uh, when we got back home, and we went ahead and decided to get that couch that y'all saw Megan sitting in <laughs> reclining in in the uh, TV store in Cabo Malones, and uh, we decided to get that couch or, or love seat and an actual sofa or a couch like a three seater. And that one reclines as well. And uh, we've been waiting about a week uh, so far. They had to get it from the warehouse that was in another uh, city, like at their main store in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and ship it to Vicksburg, Mississippi, which is, you know, 30, 45 minutes away or something like that. And they had to wait for a truck to go out there and get it. But they finally got everything at the store now. And they let us know that tomorrow, uh, early tomorrow morning, they're going to be bringing our couches and delivering them. <laughs> and uh, the couches are 31 inches wide in our door on Emma. It's 31 inches wide as well and so uh it's gonna be a tight fit but i'm glad they're doing it and not me but uh, yeah we got that going on so exciting delivery going on tomorrow but today i gotta grind and get to work gotta get this feed unloaded got about 500 pounds of feed on the back of the truck there gotta get everything back stocked up in the barn be able to feed the animals keep them warm keep them fed keep them happy so they want to escape and uh as y'all see our little baby sheep that we had is still doing good and uh little misty as the boys named her and uh, I, I, maybe I'll take y'all in, in the pasture with uh, Megan and the boys and we'll spend a little time with the sheep and get to know Misty a little bit better. She's something else now. She's bad. <laughs> For real. It's like she knows that she's uh, she's special, you know, because uh, we've been like babying her really, putting them in the barn at night, giving them hay, checking on them in the middle of the night, checking on them early in the morning. And, uh, you know, we're not we're not super like uh, sensitive with our animals like that. But it's something about this little, little girl, little baby sheep <laughs> that we have. It's brought the sensitive side out of me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so tomorrow we got uh, furniture being delivered. And uh, today I want to get started. Like I say, getting things taken care of around the farm. I got to do some work on the septic tank as well. Y'all saw what well, I mentioned on another video that it was some eroding going on around the septic tank. And I don't think it moved or sunk in anything like that. I just think over time, you know, that dirt started to settle. And then it rained so hard over the last... Whew, Two, two or three weeks or something like that that I think that it started to like erode that dirt and so I've been waiting for my pile of dirt let's see y'all didn't get a chance to see me pile this dirt up over here I did that off camera one day on an off day <laughs> when I was in my shorts with my ashy knees <laughs> but uh I moved that dirt from over here from when they did uh when they put in the storm shelter over there they just piled up the dirt right there and I moved it over here so that it wouldn't all just wash down the hill and uh, like I, I took a couple scoops from there and took it over there to the uh, septic tank and I just by hand, you know, shoved it in because it was too wet to pull the tractor in and do the work with the tractor and pack it down. But I'm trying to wait for this pile of dirt here to dry out so I can scoop it up and be able to, you know, work it better. When I'm, when I'm not working mud, but I'm work, working actual, actual like fluffy dirt. And so hopefully the sun will come out today. It's, it's a little bit chilly this morning. It was about 30 degrees last night. Got a chance to wear my good fuzzy hat because <laughs> it's not cold enough for a big jacket. But, uh, you know, just covering my ears keeps me warm. Long sleeve shirt with ears covered is all I need when I'm out here working. Because, uh, you know, as you work, your body begins to warm up. And you don't want a whole lot of layers on 
when it's just 30 degrees outside. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, feed unloaded. I'm gonna go, I wanna show y'all one more thing. Because uh, the Lord has really been ministering to me this week and uh, really just whispering in my ear, you know, as I quieted myself down because I've taken about a week or two just to kind of rest and recover and refresh as I get ready to start back on Emma and finish everything off. We have two more months. Uh, Benjamin's due date is in April. I'm not sure exactly what date, if it's the beginning or end, but I know it's in April. I know a lot of you all are asking that. And uh, so I have two more months before little Benji gets here. And so I'm trying to like get everything finished. I want to get both the bathrooms done. I want to get the open shelving done. I want to get all the crown molding that Bill saying and his crew came and did. I want to get that caulked and touch up painted. I want to get the couches and uh, I want to make a dining room table and a coffee table in the living room myself and then I'll uh, whitewash it. But uh, if I have time, I'll do that. That'd be probably the last things I'll do. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get all that stuff figured out. And I, so I took I took off about a week or two just to get myself ready because I'm finna grind and go hard <laughs> for real for these last two months before Benjamin gets here to get everything done. But uh, as the Lord has been just quieting me down for these two weeks of rest and recovery, He's just been been whispering to me in my ear, sitting by the pond. I've been hearing the Lord's voice, walking down the driveway. I've been hearing the Lord's voice, and just this morning, cranking up the truck, you know, and bagging in. Moving that bike. I don't know if y'all can see me moving that bike on camera. Uh, that's Noah's bike. Sometimes the boys lead their toys out in the middle of the field. Sometimes I make a mistake and run them over and they get mad at me. <laughs> but it's like, y'all shouldn't leave it out in the middle of the field. But as I was moving that bike, I want to turn around and show y'all something. How the Lord spoke to me. So the bike the bike was right in this area. And then as I started coming over here, I saw a little block right there. A little kid's block. And I saw a couple more blocks here. And as I told y'all, the boys, they love like taking broken toys and really breaking them more but they call it fixing them and then the bike was laying out and i looked over here and i saw this uh and you can just see little little pieces of toys everywhere the stuff they broke up tried to fix on you see all this stuff and then you can see all the little projects over there little toys and stuff in the way i was trying to go down this trail the other day and uh one of their toys went away <laughs> i had to get out the tractor and actually move it like i said just little toys and stuff everywhere all around here and uh, the lord was really ministering to me that this is not junk like it is junk <laughs> you know but just taking it to a deeper level like a little toy right there a little broken piece of toy right there but the lord was really ministering to me that this is not just junk you know don't see it as junk and i know a lot of you all like might see you know toys laid out and say man them kids need to clean it up y'all need to clean that up but the lord was ministering to me that these things are signs of life <laughs> you know because uh, i'm real big on family i'm real real big on like having as many kids as possible you know if it wasn't for c-sections we probably would have had 12 kids by now because uh, we ended up getting on birth control you know per recommendation of the doctor because uh megan you know uh she didn't heal up properly from that second c-section i think from the first to the second one and then from the second to the third one she was good you know from between titus and noah but in the way the doctor you know told us that we didn't heal up properly from that that, that, that c-section in between so she told us to take a couple years off from having babies and uh this actually was one of the years you know like we were still actively in that process of taking time off from having babies and we actually thought that we weren't gonna have any more kids you know because we were like we're getting you know a little bit older a little bit more established we always wanted all our kids to be right there together you know so we can have them all together and then we can get them all at the house at the same time send them off to college but anyway the lord was just ministering to me that all these little blocks and bikes and all these toys out in the middle of the field which I told the boys to keep all their toys in this section so that we don't have toys and bits and pieces of toys all over the open fields and in front of Emma and everything. So they do a pretty good job by keeping everything over this way until one of the dogs pick it up and take it over there and tear it up a little bit more. But anyway, but the Lord was just speaking to me that these things that I see, to not look at it from a perspective of, gotta get all this junk up, you know, yell at the boys and tell them to like stop breaking up all these toys and leaving all this junk out in the middle of the field but to see it as life like as as something that's living and breathing because if we didn't have any kids there would be no toys out in the middle of this field you know and we know that it's you know our vision is to have life is to have and have have children that we can leave an inheritance to you know like uh they can be the next generation that comes on they can be better than us and that we can train up and develop and disciples so that they can go do the same with others and had their own families and then had their own like physical families and spiritual families as well but i just want to share that with y'all real quick about what the lord was ministering to me you know about the 
the junk and the trash from the boys playing, the stray toys and the broke up toys on the farm. You know, just the Lord just changing my perspective. And uh, that's what we have to do a lot of times. You know, sometimes we see things and we get so stressed out and anxious and, and you know, just, you know, running around on, on the wheel like a rat, like in the rat race. But sometimes if we just slow down and breathe and let the Lord just speak to us, we'll see those things in a whole different perspective. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go and get to work, get this done, and uh, see what else I can get done today. So y'all just follow us along for this journey and uh, stay with us until the next, the second section of the video so y'all can see what type of furniture we picked out. Y'all y'all have already really seen it already, but uh, we did look at two different types of couches, so it's, it'll still be a little bit of a surprise. So y'all just stick with us for this journey and let's see what we can get into today. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. Got the sheep fed. Everybody seems to be doing fine. They haven't been eating all their hay because they've been uh going out on the pastures and foraging a little bit on some of the winter grass that's been popping up. I'm gonna go over here and let the chickens out. <clears throat> These uh that's that's Chuck and Duck over there. <laughs> Chuck and the Lonely Duck. They stay out, we don't lock them up, they just free range. They find safety at night, they sleep around the pigs or sleep around the dogs or something. But we have our egg layers and our uh our breeding rooster locked up in the pen and i'm looking forward to um you know this spring because we we're, we're gonna try to get as many chickens as this farm can hold because uh, we want to have plenty of eggs and uh we'll probably get some meat chickens as well probably get some more ducks turkeys all that good stuff and i have a plan for making some chicken tractors and uh it should turn out pretty good i was thinking about using this old dog kennel that we have down here. As y'all know, we had a dog kennel business called IAG Kennels, where we sold dog kennels, rock wilders. We had plans to like open up a, a storefront business and start selling like uh, collars and all those type of things. But the Lord just moved us on from that season and made us into farmers. <laughs> so now we're trying to build and develop this first generation farm without using debt and see how this process goes. Yeah, my mama set the chickens in there. I just came through the back pastures. As you know, we have a farm gate going down through there, so we'll be able to eventually, because eventually we're going to have uh, paddocks here, and I'm going to put, uh, you know, hard fencing. It's probably going to be a line of fencing coming down right through here, 
and connect right there to section off this pasture here. It'll be the barn to be sectioned off by itself for milking and things like that. Then we have a section of pasture here. And then I may put another fence. I may just section it down into three parts. So I may just put this one fence here and then it'll be with the barn section, this paddock here, and then that had the rest of this, you know, as the other rotation. And then we have plans for putting up more fencing as well. Y'all know we stopped this fencing here below the pond. We have plans to take to fence off the top up there by the hill and to also fence off this whole section over here. So that'll give us about five rotations in our uh, pasture rotation system. And we're good with sheep. What's up, chickens? With sheep, we're good. You know, they don't eat much grass. But uh, once we get our milk cow and uh, her baby and maybe even a bull, then we need some additional pastures as well. Even though we're, we're talking about getting a, a, a mini type cow, like a Dexter or a mini Jersey or something like that, you know, they still eat a whole lot of grass, way more than a sheep. Like that one cow will probably eat about the same amount as like 15, 20 sheep. <laughs> so, yeah. So we got the chickens out. They can uh, go on down there and forage and get some grain with the sheep. Like I said, they just eat with everybody else. We don't really feed the chickens, you know, uh, by themselves. We used to. But they would leave the food in there and go around and forage and eat with the sheep and things. And so sometimes we throw them out a handful of feed or some scraps or something like that. But most of the time they enjoy foraging more than the food that we put in the bowl. They don't like food in the bowl. Neither do they like water in the bowl. <laughs> they like to go get theirs. You know, they're scavengers or foragers. So we love it. We love it. Got some nice compost under their building. We we'll scoop that out, pile it up, and put it on the garden for, 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 for the springtime. Well, that won't be ready for spring, but you get the point. All right, y'all, so it's starting to warm up out here a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these pigs fed, get Boaz and uh, BJ, our rams fed, and the rabbits and everything. And uh, we'll just pick y'all up a little bit later once I get done with farm chores. And we'll go check and see what Megan and the boys got going on. They're in there hard at it doing homeschool. So I'll just pick y'all up in a minute and uh, we'll just continue to do this farm thing for today, <laughs> for real. And try to glorify Jesus as we do it, you know, so that, so that it can have purpose. Check on homeschool, see how y'all doing. Homeschool is great. Me and Tim just completed a spelling test. I gave him a minute to check over his answers and see, you know, make, make sure they were correct. Uh, Noah just counted to 100. He has some blips here and there, but, you know, he made it through. And Titus is about to do his 8 plus edition facts. So, so how did Tim do on the spelling test? Um, not good this time. I saw one that I know was incorrect. Oh, you haven't checked it yet. Yeah, I'm hoping. Oh, okay. I, I walked away. I got you. So I'm hoping that when I gave him a chance to check it, he caught his mistake. Good. Well, let me let me go out here and sneak in and poke the camera in the room and see how they're, how they're doing. 
Gotta be quiet, y'all. Our homeschool is in session. Looks to be going good. A nice homeschool room. Let's see what our scripture for today is. February 1st. He who stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is shielded. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. Proverbs 2 and 7. And a quote that I told Mama to write on the board. The teacher is there when the student is ready. <laughs> I love it. Come on out, Mama. Let's... Got some more questions I want to ask you. So I was telling everybody, this video here is the uh, couch delivery video. So do you have anything you want to say? Come on, keep walking. Let's... So we don't disturb, disturb homeschool. Nice big screen, big screen TV behind you. <laughs> so let's take a look at this living room and talk to talk us through what your new plans are. Because I told them that we decided to go with like a full living room set, two cap, one couch, and the love seat instead of just going with the love seat. So talk us through your living room setup. Well, first let me just say this: we fell in love with the love seat. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> immediately. Tim's got a little center console mm -hmm. where you can put your remotes and you can sit your drink. And it was like, I sat down on it. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> no, but it's the perfect combination of being wipeable because of the smoothness. It's not really fabric. It's a microfiber, but it's a it's not a suede where it's like can't can't get wet. So you can wipe it down like leather but it's soft like suede or like microfiber. So we found the perfect fabric for our lifestyle because Tim likes it like soft and smooth and I like it wipeable for, you know, we got Benjamin coming who probably oh, yeah. will spit up or whatever. And then you know the other boys are wild and crazy and they spill stuff. And we are on the farm. So and, yeah. that dad comes right. in dirty at the farm down. chores. <laughs> no, not a problem. You know, you got a little dust on your behind. That's mm -hmm. fine. Dust I can wipe that off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those, you know, we fell in love with that first. Then I'm like, we cannot just get a love seat. You know, we either have to bite the bullet, get the one full couch and we love the love seat though, right? Mm -hmm. So it was bite the bullet and get either one full couch, bye bye love seat, or figure out some type of way to fit both the full couch and the love seat, which gives every grown or you know full size person, mm -hmm. almost full size person, a seat. What did you say? You said, "Well, the boys gonna sit it." I said, "They can sit in their bedroom. <laughs> it's our couch. We don't need them with two seats." watching movies as a family mm -hmm. and so I was like we could do it in our room on the bed because you know it's a king size bed but even that bed is getting like scratched oh, oh, yeah. we're all, we're all squeezing there mm -hmm. so we'll have a, a seat for everybody if we put the love seat here and um, actually I think that the love seat doesn't come out as much as this back part but it's about six inches um, wider, wide, yeah. longer. Longer, this way. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to compensate. And I don't know if six inches is the right measurement, but you know, somewhere around there. Yeah. It's about this much more. Mm -hmm. So about the same size. Right. Love seat, about the same size about as that. About the same size as that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. great. So where are we going to squeeze this other big old thing that at? Big, the Ray Sitter couch. <laughs> I wasn't as much worried about the length of it as I was 
the width coming out. Mm -hmm. So I need it to be um, skinny enough for it to be a nice walk through, still coming through into the kitchen. But it's, I think, 90? Uh, 91. Inch, 91 wow. inches long, mm -hmm. which fits, and there's ample um, room on both sides for us to be kind of centered near this window. On that here. window, yeah. Mm -hmm. So plenty of room here, because this is actually a pretty long wall. But the concern for the, the space in our living room is how much it was going to stick out. And so, how much was it? 20 or 31? 31. Mm -hmm. 31. So, it's 31 inches long, which ends up just coming a little bit out here. Mm -hmm. So, we think, we I think, that 31 will be fine, and there will still be plenty of space. We'll probably have to go over with the love seat a little bit here. But there's still plenty of walk-through room yeah. here. And that was our main thing. We didn't, we didn't want to scrunch things in too much. Right. But it seems like the more things we add to this living room, the bigger it gets yeah, <laughs> for some we got reason. Big old dog, dog cage. cage. And we got the big, big screen TV. Right. We got packages over here. And I'm actually going, after we get done talking, to pick up more packages. And we haven't had a chance to open the other packages. packages. It's been uh, kind of rainy. Y'all, yeah. and I know you're like, Raina, what does that have to do with open packages? Well, packages create a lot of trash. And we gotta burn the boxes. And so we have to burn the boxes. We have to take the boxes, put them outside in the wagon. The boys pull the wagon down to the trash pile, and then we unload the boxes. And I just didn't want a whole bunch of boxes sitting out in the rain. I didn't want the boys to have to go back and forth with the boxes in the rain, in the mud. Mud is the main exactly. thing. Exactly. So and bring it back of, in. Yeah. Because when there's mud outside, it's mud, mud inside, inside on the farm. <laughs> and mud, you know, the dust is one thing, but, but a good up mud. Will mm -hmm. get rid of that. But mud is like a, you have to scrub. Red layers. So. That old clay. Yeah, it's a little clay <laughs> yeah, out here. Yeah, it's a clay. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to, um, we'll do a big package opening probably later today. We'll have time. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. I'm still trying to figure out the system for opening up packages. I was thinking about what we could do because we can have videos every now and then that are just like specifically for package opening. You know, that'll be good. Maybe we can do a live stream or something like that. But for now, I think that we're going to like take it when we open packages, maybe take a little bit of video, but then take pictures of every single package that we open, you know, and our expression <laughs> when we're opening the packages and uh, like link that in, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere like at the end or something like that of the video. So the people that yeah. want to see package opening can like just stick around to the end and see the right. packages being open and see every single package. And I might even do it with the video, you know, I, I could just like do it unedited. Right, like, just let it scroll. Uh -huh, let, let it yeah. scroll at the end and, ha and play some of like Sane's music or something mm -hmm. <laughs> over it. But y'all, we are grateful for every single package, mm -hmm. even if we can't handwrite a note to everyone that sends a package. We thank you so much just for thinking of our family and having our family in your hearts. Mm -hmm. Like that means a lot for us. The package is just kind of an expression of what you had in your heart towards yeah. us. And that's why we're truly grateful. And we also know there's many of you that don't um, reach out, but you pray for us. Right. You know, we know that, you know, you also... Um, send encouraging emails. We are grateful for all of that. So, like, if you are praying for us, if you are out there thinking of us, and you know, we are so so grateful for y'all, and we're being strengthened by your thoughts and your prayers. That's right. And FYI, Megan is the one that handles the emails. <laughs> I'm the one that handles the YouTube I'm comments. So, emails, if, you, if, if you want to talk to I'm Megan, coming. you can send an email. You know, our email is in the description and all yeah. that type of stuff. And uh, if you want to talk to the man ain't got no business, comments. man, <laughs> be in the comments. comments. And I, I don't re reply to all comments, right. but I try to go through and like them and, you know, any questions, answer them and things like that. But sometimes I just get too busy. And I know that you all want more videos. So you would rather for me make more videos and spend time editing instead of spending time responding to comments. Yeah. But uh, we read all of them and we thank you all for all the love that y'all send. Yes, most yeah. definitely. We'll just pick y'all up tomorrow and hopefully we'll see some couches coming through that door right there <laughs> that 31 inch wide door with those 31 inch wide couches oh, yeah. this, this gonna <laughs> it's gonna be, be, it's gonna like be a squeeze a squeezing. i'm glad they're doing it i'm not doing it so <laughs> i love it so we'll just see y'all either have some type of couch insurance
Oh, yeah, for real. But either we'll see y'all later today or we'll see y'all early in the morning. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I kind of took the tractor and uh, I piled some dirt up. I actually, what I did was I cut some dirt down because uh, it seemed like what was happening was that the dirt that was on top of the uh, actual septic tank, they hadn't been, been packed down. The rain had kind of washed it away. And so, but then the dirt that had been packed down going around the septic tank, it was still there because it had, you know, they, they ran over it with the, uh, the excavator. And so, but this loose dirt that was here washed away and so it was kind of a hollow point in the middle and uh that was causing the water to kind of sit on top of the septic tank and then i guess it caused eventually this water i mean this uh dirt that was on the side to wash and so what i did was i came in by hand because it was it was so mucky and, and, and wet that day i didn't want to bring the tractor in here but i came in by hand and just kind of shoveled away a bunch of that dirt that was that was built up here and kind of made it to where that water could roll off and uh i, I, I already knew in my mind that i was gonna come back with the tractor once I, uh, you know, once it started to dry up and pack all that down, 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take take this uh, dirt here, just kind of loose and dry, and I'm gonna just shovel it, you know, into these little trenches here, where I packed it down it. And then I'm gonna shovel some on top of the septic tank as well, just to kind of crown it out to make it to where the water won't sit on top of the septic tank or sit in this area, but it'll just roll off when it rains. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the shovel and just start doing some <laughs> some man's work now, shoveling this dirt on top of this septic tank. So uh, let's get it done. I don't know if y'all can see or not. How I'm taking the shovel and knocking that little little berm off right there, and uh, that little hill to make it to be able to all the water. I want it to kind of be crowned going up to the septic tank, and so I'm trying to get it to all, where all the water will go away from the septic tank instead of settling on the septic tank in the middle. All right, y'all, I got everything cleaned up and packed down real good. And uh, as you can see, now I had that slope going down the right way. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. But it's not mound up to where the water is going to sit on the septic tank. Now, right here, because we are coming downhill, I'm not really able to do anything about this spot right here. Y'all probably can't see it on camera, but it's going downhill. So there will be some water that actually that rolls over top of the septic tank. But I kind of it's kind of mound up right here to try to make to persuade that water to go around and down the hill over that way but uh <clears throat> the reason like i said that we had those problems is because the, the the dirt that was on top of the septic tank kind of settled a little bit but then the dirt that was around it was packed down good and it was a little bit higher so where the septic tank is sitting right there you had the dirt down lower and so that water was just sitting there you know when it rained and uh, it didn't rain much like i said because it hadn't rained a whole whole lot since we had this septic tank in we, we really been in a drought in mississippi but uh over the last couple of weeks or so we've had a lot of rain and uh i didn't catch it fast enough like i said to see see what was going on but i got everything smoothed out back here i did a little bit of grading work over here i was trying to stay off my drain field lines because y'all saw earlier y'all saw that the the actual uh, we have a aerobic uh septic treatment system so when the water sprays out it has three tanks on this uh system yeah, the first tank that the, the dirty water goes into and then that fills up and then it goes into this next tank and then when that fills up it goes into this last tank and then there's a filter here and you put you put some uh what do you call it chlorine tabs in there and as that water goes into that last tank which is the pump tank it goes to those chlorine tabs and so it you know pretty much sterilizes it and cleans it you have little to no smell once it comes out and the lines go underground and they come all the way and they go down this way and uh you have three uh sprayers sprayer heads down there and then it pumps it out you know it kicks on the pump and then pumps it out and sprays it out into that tank that uh yeah that tank down there where the you know uh chlorinated water is it is empty or down lower below the pump level but yeah uh, that's the system and that's uh like i said i, I kind of 
smooth things out and grade it a little bit around this area just to make everything look good trying to get all that water to drain the right way because uh, there's a lot of water that comes off this hill here and then as it gets to the septic tank i need it to just keep going and not get held up by anything so we're gonna see how this works and uh i think that this is my last thing for today yeah i think i'm gonna go on in the house give me a good good bath good shower sit down watch a couple youtube videos i know that uh Sane has a video that he put out today he's been telling me that he was gonna take some video in uh in the studio <laughs> so he's uh he, he been texting me and worrying me about watching that video so i'm gonna go ahead and watch it so i can give him my my uh you know my pointers you know he always uh, asks me for like what do you think about this what should i do you know all this type of stuff so yeah and i'm always uh critical on him <laughs> but anyway so i'm gonna go in here sit down for a minute and uh take a shower settle down for the night and uh get a little bit of food in me and i'll just pick y'all up tomorrow and hopefully our captains will be here in the morning so we'll just see y'all in the morning All right, IAG Farm family, today is the day where our couches should be coming. And uh, we've gotten everything moved out of the living room. I got the little futon moved into the boys' room for now. And, uh, you know, until we get them some little recliners or something like that. And they're pretty excited about that. And, uh, yeah, we should be getting couches delivered. They should be coming <laughs> through this door pretty soon. Megan's back at doing homeschool with the boys. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek of what's going on back here. No, what are you doing? Can you believe that? Oh, shocking again. Can you believe that? Today is the big day. You ready? Mm -hmm. Couches are being delivered. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to disturb y'all too much. I get on back to home school. We got one student in here. There's that, that futon. We got one student in here just working on a test. Spelling test. Going good, Tim? Yes, sir. Let me walk y'all in here and show y'all the living room area. Clear of furniture. <laughs> it's so big in here without anything in here. I'm gonna see how it's gonna look with all the furniture in here. It is, it's actually echo too. The echo kind of came back once we moved the futon out of here. We had a bunch of boxes and stuff in here as well. But y'all can see the empty slate. <laughs> and soon it should be full of couches. As we told y'all yesterday, it's gonna be a couch over there on that side, and then we're gonna have a love seat here in the middle. And I was actually, as I was, you know, preparing for bed last night, I was actually thinking about some different, you know, setups for where the couches could go if they don't fit right. Because I'm worried about this uh, sofa here not having enough room to kick the, uh, you know, the recliner part up. But we could move this kind of over there and kind of catacomb it or something, or even move the love seat, I mean the uh, sofa over here and kind of almost put it up against the wall. But we'll see that they're, they're gonna be, the sky's the limit for what we can do with this, this beautiful blank canvas here. And uh, we're excited about it. So I'm super excited y'all. And uh, we've waited a long time for these things. And we talked about it on uh, the last video on how, how things are better when you wait for them. You know, they mean more to you. They have more purpose, more meaning. You know, uh, when you wait, you know, we use marriage as an example of that because uh, Megan and I, we waited until we got married. You know, we were celibate until we got married, you know, and, uh, you know, we we, <laughs> we weren't perfect. I, I, I always leave that caveat right there. We weren't perfect. You know, it's probably a little bit less kissing and touching that should have went on. But, uh, you know, we stayed true to our beliefs about being celibate, you know, until we got married and it just made the marriage night that much more important and more valuable something that we will never forget you know and uh you know sometimes you know it's, it's a little bit harder to wait for things to happen you know on the lord's timing and we want to jump out there in front of god and make it happen ourselves and we want to use debt to make it happen and we've done it too you know we've done it before but the lord has just taught us that if we just wait and are patient it's like that thing that we would have went in debt for and paid for it for five or ten years you know if we wait five months <laughs> it'll be done like we can save up the amount you know without interest and with, and without becoming a, a slave to the one that's lending to us you know if we just wait just a little bit you know the end product is that much better that much more better but uh it's a it's a brisk 
cool morning on the farm this morning and uh, i gotta get my truck moved here so that they'll be able to pull in and do everything they need to do and hopefully they don't have any problems getting the actual couches through the door which they shouldn't you know uh if my mom and i can do it y'all saw the videos <laughs> where my mom and i you know uh got her couches through her doors and her doors doors were about the same same width they might have been more like 32 inches wide but anyway they're professionals and so they'll probably get them through there like like butter like it's nothing but i just pick y'all up when they get here and uh man it's just this is an amazing day like it might just be normal to to most people to get couches and tvs and things like that but just starting this new life we remember where this property came from like it was just raw land there was no water there was no septic there was no farm gates like there were there was no fencing like there were no pastures <laughs> you know there, there was nothing there was no power there was nothing here but we we looked at this property and we and the lord gave us gave us vision you know and later on as we showed ourselves faithful he gave us the provisions you know because what i always say that vision is the most powerful thing the most important and valuable thing that we can have you know because you can't buy vision <laughs> you know but sometimes we pursue the provisions you know and uh we pursue the the gain or the money that that you know gets things but if we don't have the vision and the wisdom to use those provisions then it's just a waste of time and that's uh that's some of the things that i've been reading about with solomon you know that's that that's one of the reasons why he said that it's all it's, it's just all uh vain none of this stuff even matters but that changes later on in, in Ecclesiastics and in Proverbs as he begins to like uh, understand more about uh, provisions and about riches and about land and about all these worldly things. As he begins to understand more, he begins to understand that that wisdom is the most valuable thing. Like hearing from God is the most valuable thing. It's not money and fame and fortune and land and houses and cars. He says all those things are vanity. But you can have those things. You can enjoy those things, as Solomon says. But you, you, the, the most valuable part is the wisdom that you need and the understanding that you need to be able to know how to like use those things, not just for like personal gain or personal uh, fulfillment, but to be able to know how to like ordain a truck <laughs> as a vessel for God, to know how to how, how to ordain a mobile home as a vessel for God and change lives through the process of restoring a mobile home to understand how to like do fencing and farm chores and just regular family stuff, shopping for couches, <laughs> you know, and, and, and to turn those things around, those worldly things around and to use them as a vessel to ordain them and let them know what they're for like like this truck has been spoken to <laughs> it already knows what its purpose is it knows that its purpose is to do what needs to be done around the farm and to and and, and, and in, in this season it knows that its purpose is to be our main vehicle so you better not break down <laughs> for real and if you do break down we're gonna lay hands on you <laughs> for real yeah it's like uh somebody said one time they said uh, we used to anoint that truck. You know, uh, I listened to a guy named Dave Ramsey, and uh, about you know he he promotes like a debt free lifestyle, paying cash for things, and uh, we listened to some of the things that he says. And he told this joke one time about you know like driving around in what he calls a beater car, you know while you're getting out of debt, just an old raggedy car. And he said uh, we used to anoint that thing with oil about every two weeks. He said about a quart at a time. <laughs> Man, you get it? It's like you think about like spiritual oil, like anointing oil. But he was like, nah, like real oil. Like that thing was raggedy. <laughs> but it didn't break down on us for real, and it it, it performed its purpose. But yeah, I'm just uh, rambling now, y'all. Like I said, I'm getting excited, I'm getting a little bit teary eyed, just thinking about watching the truck come down this driveway to bring our couches. And then watching them bring our couches in through this door and then being able to like call my kids and my family and my wife and say, y'all come sit down and enjoy. Man, it's powerful. But I'll pick y'all up in a minute or whenever they get here. And I'm going to go cry a little bit <laughs> and enjoy the moment. And hopefully y'all can enjoy the moment with us. So I'll pick y'all up when they get here with the couches.
Come on out. Emma, Emma. Let's sit up with y'all over here. Come on out. Hey, boys. All right, y'all, they're here. See if I can keep him here, so. Couches are finally here. Leaving everyone behind as their slow fires die down. Once we left, we found it hard. Alright, y'all, we got our first couch in. It looks even better in the house than it did in the store. Maybe you can finally get to sit on. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna tell them on this video where I'm about right. to go. Don't say it. Don't you say it. Run, that, that, that goes into the next video. Uh, but I'm finna uh, head out of town uh, and leave my family. Uh, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I, I finally came across some folks that didn't wanna be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it rarely happens. Oh, yeah, for real. But hey, I, I can get my couch on camera, though. <laughs> that looks good, though. Oh, good. All right, y'all. Feels just as good as it did in the store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, y'all, they're out there getting the, the next one unloaded. And so once they get that unloaded and we get everything set up, we'll pick y'all up. All right, y'all, so as y'all see, we have couch. <laughs> we don't have couches, but we have couch. <laughs> uh, it was this funny store, but uh, one of the couches was actually the wrong color, and I took a little bit of video to show y'all. I kind of rolled that in here, but uh, this is the right color couch here. And uh, Megan, what do you think? Are you excited? Come on, sit on down in here. Let me see. Boys, we got a couch. Blue tires. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's let mama sit down though. Feels good. Does it recline? It does. Now don't don't do anything. Don't touch anything. So we can show you how to how to do everything. Okay. What you think? It's great. Couch couch is great. Mm -hmm. We 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 got the couch. one that we initially picked out and then we added a second couch which is invisible right now. We don't see it right there. <laughs> but it definitely wasn't blue. No, that was like a black, blackish, bluish mm -hmm. color. Dark. I, I told Megan, I said it might have been gray, but then once they said they didn't want to be recorded, it's like the Lord like was like, all right, you don't want to be recorded, I'm gonna make you run around in circles, mm -hmm. turn the couch blue. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, sorry, ne ne next time match. let me record the video. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did not match. Oh, but yeah. we had couch. That's right. It looks good. Let recline it. See how it feels. Recline and see how it feels. Mm -hmm. Probably should have been making sure they worked and everything before they, before they left. There you go. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Damn! Mm hmm. So, uh, can you see you and Benjamin sitting here watching some uh, IAG farm videos? Yeah. <laughs> Is it comfortable? It's very comfortable. Oh, yeah. It's extremely mm -hmm. comfortable. That's right. You can sit down. Go ahead. Listen, we, we about can I almost still fit on there. It's like it's, it's the same size as the futon. You had to put Noah right there on the little uh, thing here. <laughs> this is our console. We finally have a place to put the remotes. remotes. Yep, because we got something in the remotes for the split. Mm -hmm. Can I pop it up? Nope. Mm -mm. No children playing with the pop up. What y'all think, boys? Good. Y'all didn't get a chance to see the blue couch, the other one, but they're going to bring that one back. They said they have to order it. So. Why did they get a blue couch? It's just it, it wasn't a very. I, we started off with the process being pretty good, so you know I, I can't be quiet about it. Cause somebody else <laughs> is gonna be trying to go to Cowboy Malone's Electric City in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and try to get their couches. The service started out good in the store until they sold us stuff, <laughs> and then like they weren't calling us, they weren't communicating well. They gave us the wrong color couch, didn't want to get recorded. All of a sudden, it's like you know we had a conversation with them, right? at yeah. the beginning and told them hey we're a youtube channel we're gonna be recording y'all all right with this well the and then, salesperson was okay with the salesperson recording. the salesperson is okay with everything <laughs> <laughs> but 
But then once you get to the service department. And y'all know, you know, you experience that in a lot of companies. Like the sales is like great. And then once you buy it, it's like Can't get nobody else the phone. Down from there. So yeah, I, I give the Cowboy Maloney's in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Two stars out of five. I'll say two. I should do one, but since our sales associate was helped us out so so much in the store, I give them two. But it's like one and a half, really. How many y'all give them, boys? Three. Three. No, two. Okay, two. two. How, how many give, stars you give them? Two. Uh, I, two. Uh, I don't. Like we already heard yours, Tim. Now, come on, though. I just give them one. You give them one. See, that's why they don't want you to record, cause they don't want <laughs> they don't want the truth to come out. But it's all good. Let me just. Look at this bag up a little bit. I see my family on this couch. It's a beautiful thing. Got our TV. We can sit back, watch us a movie. We'll just pile up in each other's laps. Let's see. Yeah. Mama can sit in my lap. And we can sit here and watch TV, like movies like as a family. Yep, yeah, that's right. Y'all don't have to sit in each other's lap. Y'all good. Y'all yeah, got like no space. It. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, well, all right, y'all. We actually have an amazing uh, day plan for today. An amazing surprise that y'all will get maybe on the next video. And uh, hopefully, because, uh, you know, it's, you just can't, can't get ahead. It's like my granddad told me one time. He said, don't count your chickens before, before they hatch. Before they hatch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you got 12 eggs and you're thinking, I'm going to have 12 chickens. And then you might not have any chickens. You nope. may have one chicken to hatch out. You know, and so I'm not gonna count my my chickens before they hatch, but I'm headed to out of town, you know, for for you know about a half a day to do something that I think y'all are gonna be real excited about, and uh, everybody around here is gonna be excited about it as well. But we have couches. I mean, we have a couch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have couches. We have couch. Couch. But uh, it's a beautiful thing, and we know that they're gonna fit now. That was one of our concerns. Yes. But uh, we actually saw the size couch that was gonna be in here. You know, and they might have dinged up my door over here a little bit and scratched up my floor a little bit. You know, so we might have to buff those things out and grab a hammer and fix some stuff. But, you know, they did what they they did what they did could. You know, I, I see one deep scratch over there, too. It's like, see, that th th these little scratches, like, this time, they got to do this over again. <laughs> so, you know, hey, it is what it is. Cowboy Malone is Electric City. It's like, it's, thank, thank you so much for scratching my floor and dinging up my door and bringing me the wrong color couch. <laughs> Good times. No, <laughs> All right. Thank you, What's that, dog? So we can see another couch. That's right. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're going to end today's video here. Anybody want to get some last thoughts other than me with all this yeah. negativity? No. <laughs> somebody, somebody get some positive. Uh... We have a couch, and that's awesome because we waited a long time. And been through a lot of lawn chairs and the futon. We were excited about the futon, y'all. Mm -hmm. And so, um, this is a huge milestone. And we're not going to let anybody steal our joy. That's right. We are excited about this couch, even if it's couch instead of couch is. And even if our floor is scratched up and our door is dinged. Yep. And... We're still excited. <laughs> and we're... Those things can be, you know, fixed, hopefully. I'm going to oh, get down there and see. Maybe it's just like a, you know, dust. Thing that can Listen, be. this is just normal though because when they delivered our uh, washer and dryer, they knocked a hole in our wall. They did. <laughs> That's still and, there. And, and then hook up. It's like that was Home Depot. So, this is just see. This is what I'm telling y'all. When y'all tell me, Tim, get some help. Get some people to do this. Not do this. Not it. This is what you get when you have other people help. that don't care as much about your floors and mm -hmm. your your door that you pay. You know, mm -hmm. put in on you know bright yeah, white with I'm good looking serious. metal. Now it's all bent yeah, up metal, it is all but bent up. you know I'm at it that's, that's just what you get. That's what you get when you mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. contract things out. But it's all right. Like I say, it's it's fine. I can fix these little things. If I have to redo the whole floors and the whole living room, I'd do it. You know, and that'll be okay. Hopefully, not, <laughs> Hopefully we can buff that out, or you know, yeah, just, yeah, just clean out. Toss yeah. a rug on top of it, it'll be all right. All right, y'all, going into today's video here, so I can get on to the rest of my day. It's IG Farms. So All right, y'all, we are going to open packages and I'm just gonna let it ride out. So you'll see how crazy it can get. It's gonna be me and the boys and we're gonna open all the packages and try to put all the boxes to one side, the packages to another side. So we're just gonna see what we can do and just join us if you would like to. 
and we're gonna open all the wonderful packages that you sent us. Thank you so, so much. I will go first, and then Noah, and then me, and then Titus. It's like and playing basketball. Right, so the order that we're sitting, Mama, Noah, Titus, and then Tina. All right? Let's go. Mama, go, I'll go first. first. Get the shoes. I'm going to grab, uh-oh. Okay. It'll pop. I'm going to grab Benjamin's. Yeah, we'll see. Wait, it got a box inside of it, so it can't be Benjamin's. Gotta be that was easy though. Then these fish. Let's see. Yeah, they have the fish. I think that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's an ink cartridge. What's an ink cartridge? Can't open What's inside of it? This must mean that somebody sent us a printer? I was just about to order a printer. A printer? What? <laughs> wait, okay. Will no, Maybe there's a printer in there? Does that mean what? does that mean you write an ink? No, that means a printer, like where you can print homeschool things. Yeah, like a yeah, phone okay. call. Oh, open it, open it. Well, we this is only the cartridge. So we'll have to see if there's a, a printer in here somewhere. Okay? That's a cartridge. Let's see. You'll see when I Okay, it's next no person, printer. it's your turn. Oh no, it's no sign, y'all. Y'all sound different spices. <laughs> you put my trash. <laughs> no, it's no getting that big old. No, seriously. <laughs> All right, push it here. I have to open. He gonna be the biggest one over. Yep. Somebody help. Yeah. These these are gonna be some pictures. We just wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
You can, yeah. Can you can open it. You can open it.
this one is you. Watch out for your hand. And that mama right there. No, mama's still be right here. Mama's first. Get another package. It's not a damn this one. It ain't that big a cardboard. Yeah, I made a hole. Oh, you're 
hold her this. But at least I didn't make it good. Hold oh, it that right down. Yeah. Oh, let me pick it back here. No, it's taken out of count for me. Yeah. I think it's Benjamin from you guys. It's a maternity shirt. What's a maternity shirt? 
It means when you wear when you're pregnant. They covered your stomach. Do you wear it right now, Mom? Yeah. And wear your paternity pants. All right. For the truck. Yay! For the trucks. Yep, because mom can't drive the truck. I can too. I drove once before. Yeah. Yeah, once before. Well, not once, many times. Once before. The only time I remember is when you ran into that. Well, that's the only time we told you about, but I drove it more than this. Yeah, I've been in the accident. You did too, mom. And one time you just told you that the big old long. What is that? I don't know what I have to see. Let's see. It looks like some curtains. Good. Do we need Sure. I don't know what's over the lamp, so. We already got curtains. We got glass. But this is just the part that goes on the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. what? What's this? It's just, you know, advertising. What's advertising? Um, advertising for something. I don't know what advertising means. <laughs> oh look, this is for Tim's coffee area. Christ offers forgiveness for everyone everywhere. Look what we got. It's a plaque here about marriage. That's awesome. And then here it's for Tim's coffee area. And then this last thing we're gonna go on there at the bottom. Can no, can you take this and put this over on the other pile? Nip pack. Yes. Now it's Noah's turn. What is it, Mom? Yeah. You pick a box.
This No pick that package. No pick that little package. No. Okay. Heat, as well as it can be used over the sink for drying. 
I did the flashcards. A person's academic achievement and success is knowing how to read. With these cards, if they work hard at it, it will help them recognize simple words. That's the start. And put them together to begin reading better, as well as spell. Little Benjamin.
tell those on this side. Huh? You can tell those on this side. For the kitchen. Yay! Oh, okay, that don't know much. Mom, be quiet. Mom, this is no more. Mom, this is no more. Let's wait until we open it, okay? Let's see. Can I see it? Yes, I know I look like my dad. 
No, they just guess. Oh, yeah. It says, yes, I look like my daddy. Got lots of clothes for Benjamin. Look, pants for Benjamin. Look, toys for Benjamin. Oh, yeah, Ralph, that's kind of small. Mama, look. Yes, a book. A book. Okay, let's take all the clothes. That's a ball book. Remember phone? Press here? Oh, oh, oh. Please, you press there? Is that what it says? I guess it's lighting on. Take the That's awesome. What's the number song? A doctor. That is. Oh, nice. We'll be good for summertime. Nice. Take a water with Yep. Look at my arm book, too. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, I like that. Look, look at Benjamin's shoes. I see. Look. I see that little, uh, don't lose that. That's hot. Ah. That's right. A bug sock. Look at that. Look at that. That's a little lemon, but it'll like my size. Well, good. Now, I have yeah. given your shoes out, size out before. Yeah. But, so I don't know if the person that. got it and they knew that mm -hmm. brand small or what. That does can be on the Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why you walking like that? It's walking, man. Oh, it's so crazy. Thank y'all, subscribers. Look at this. Hey, look at that. 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 Look at Oh, look at that, it says Jesus. Oh, the hill, I'm going to do the hill. Yeah. You, you come, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all, <laughs> this all is for like, Benjamin. Like, uh, it is for Benjamin. Like James Brown. Listen, <laughs> Noah, Noah put that uh, up to himself and he said, it's probably for Benjamin. Probably now. Yeah, probably you, for me. If you fit in that, you know what I mean? Thank y'all, subscribers. I'm uh, taking an editing break since I came in here to see what y'all got for me. It's so crazy. <laughs> Good. Another book for Benjamin. That's a, another book, Mom. Good. Another little book. Good. I can raise the time. No, you cannot. Y'all already got the time. Benjamin is coming in two months. All right, get the clothes for Benjamin that y'all have taken. And fold them up and put them here. Look, another, another child. Good. Y'all been uh, opening packages for an hour. I can't tell y'all open them. I guess you open all small. Yeah. I guess. Oh, don't move for us. Ta take the clothes for Benjamin that y'all have opened up. Get them off the floor. Okay. That might be Benjamin. Like we have a baby shower. She's for real. Yeah. Yeah, I love A baby, look. Oh, yeah. A little tag. He's not fat. Put the cover back in him. Yeah, he's good. Good. This is so soft, this towel. I could have sworn I could say it was 11. It did say 11. Yeah, because I definitely don't wear 11. I wear like a, you wear a 10. 10. Nine and a half, 10. Hey. But it's good, perfect. Put all the stuff in Benjamin. Fold it back and put it here, please. Water yes. pedal. I'm definitely feel like time. Video, cause I'm not eating it at all. I'm just gonna let it ride and see, see her, see. Her. I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. Just let it ride out and see her. Uh, you know, see how it goes. You just ride out with nobody. That's 
Okay, get off of it, please. That's so nice! Yay! Hey. A king size comforter! Now, don't I still got one more to open. It's, it's the perfect color gray. And it says, like, love and pray. Mom, now we don't 
got a new new one for you, Mom. Cool, dude. You can put one in each of our baskets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can walk. Where's that hole again? After this, I empty it. The dump in there. Yeah. Not yet. I did get what side it is. It on um, picture side. Mom, are you, mm -hmm. are you able to open any side or just one side? I don't know, buddy. I open one side and it open. But let's not worry about that now. Let's each put a um. Oh, I'm getting it open. It's got a little bit. Almost good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see that part uh, that right too. I think so. All right, here. There you go. You can put the pencil and the pencil shopping in your bin. In, in the homeschool room. Nope. Any so, homeschool room. Okay. Close it back up. Put that in the homeschool room in your bin. Okay. Put this one in my bin. Mm -hmm. Oh, these two. I thought you were supposed to stack them up. Mama, it full. I did thought that. Like the other one. The electric one. Alright. Who's turn is now? Mom. Mm -hmm. No? It's, it's Tim's. Okay, Tim, pick two packages. Two. Oh. These are Paul Ryan big ones. What? That's a couple of seats. Where's Taylor? Just right. No, Gavin. Stop bouncing around. Sit down. Two skins, Mom. Two skins, Mom. So, Mom. So I can do them by myself. Yeah, go ahead. Where's the scissors? Yeah, if you do smile, you can do them by yourself. Go across. Go across like that. Move your hand out of the way. Now do the other side. And when you do it, do it, turn around and do this one. When you do it, your thumb goes in here, your other thing is going. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it can come around in you to your a big one. I think that I want to drop something right now. No, come sit down. Come sit down right here. here you can put this up. Hold on. You can put this over there. This up. Uh, nope, there's another one in there. Right. Thank you. Tim, if you do this 
side and this side. All you have to do is pull it up. Do both sides. Tim. Hey. Stop it. Do this side right here.
Get the hat. Get the hat. Light up. No. Get the mom hat. Then that light up. They don't light up. No. They don't light up. No. They don't light up. Sure. I need to go get some socks. Huh? Them all that gave me go outside the next day. That's why I'm put there. So, let's see. Time. I got to me too. I got the statues. I hope they loose enough. I got some statues too. I know. These are just a little bit even. They come. Mom, oh. these can be all, all of our basketball shoes. No. So, we only play basketball. basketball on these. All of them. Even brand new shoes. All of them have basketball things on them. I see that. Oh. Yours did. Oh, two of them. I need some of my help. I bet they chew me. Also making rolls for dinner. Wow, that's hot. And, and the, that pain you got from the subscribe. Yeah. Then we get the other one kind of like munchies. Look, mom, look at this you want. I'm going to try to get the other one right now. Dad, I won't be popping with these. That's no one's box. 
It's up uh, here. We had a pillow. All right, um, put this box to the side. That open. Oh, yeah. No, put it over there on that, the other box. On the low box. Over there by the paint. Over by the paint. No. Over by the door. Over, over by, by the, the door. door. Over by the paint. Over by the door. On top of that box right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take these pillows and put them over there, please. This is messiest towel ever. Yeah. Hopefully I get the um it's gonna be 
cut this part and then you can open the rest. I got In the Durax.
know it's more than this and thing. Just put these in the kitchen. Just kind of slide them in the kitchen. Mama, I'll put this out of your no, you can't just throw it on the ground. You have to put it in the garbage can. Oh, I'm not in the garbage can. Oh, I'm not in the garbage can. Can you put these over there? Well, over here. Uh, we need to put these on the next day. And I'm a dog. Okay. Come on, uh, help me with this thing. It's turn. Bring it over here. Yep, I know. But Tim, you throw it all. Can I help? Yep. Put it down on the ground. And y'all both sit down. I'll let you know when I need to help. Seven in here. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
going to end this package opening here yes. thank you so 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 much everybody and um anything i can't use i will find a good home for but most of the stuff is spot on so thank you thank you thank you and we'll see you on the next one